everybody, I'm Dan and I'm Freddy Tree 2000, also known as Dan Tree Times 15 on Xbox Live. And welcome to my Royal Rumble 2021 predictions. Now, I, uh, as you saw recently, I, I did my Men's Royal Rumble uh, entry predictions. But these are the full out matches predictions from the first match to the last match. And boy, have I got something big for you and a whole lot of explanation and predictions to make and for you guys that have never seen my videos before I the word I have two ways of doing things I have who I think which is basically uh, the predictions who the, well it's actually me predicting who WWE have booked to win the Royal Rumble and then there's the, who I want who is, who is my own personal opinion but without further ado we are going to get on to the very first matchup. So let's do this. And we're back. And the very first matchup is the SmackDown Women's Champion. Sasha Banks will be taking on Carmella again. Uh, she'll def in fact, so Sasha Banks will, de will be defending her title against Carmella. And that's basically all it is. And... I don't know, like, I, I always make the predictions of, I already, yeah, I know I did my entries from the men's one, and possibly even uh, before this video gets uploaded, I'll do the women, that's probably, you saw the women's one as well. Um, the secret other predictions for this match is this. Um, the loser of this matchup will be entered in the women's 30 the, the, the women's Royal Rumble the the 30 women Royal Rumble which would be the fourth uh, women's Royal Rumble I believe so the first one was in 2018 the second one was in 2019 third one was in 2020 and so this year would be the fourth women's Royal Rumble matchup with of course the first one in 2018 won by Oscar uh, the 2019 War Women's Royal Rumble was won by Becky Lynch. The 2020 Women's Royal Rumble was won by uh, Charlotte Flair. And on my predictions to who I think is going to win the 2021 Women's Royal Women's Royal Rumble will be coming out shortly. But for this match, who do I think is going to win? Sasha Banks. Who do I want to win? Sasha Banks. It's a pretty easy pick if you ask me. I can't see it going any other way. It's kind of a, a throwaway matchup. We've already had this match before, and you know I, I can't see Carmilla winning this matchup. But hey, maybe she will and surprise us all. And Sasha Banks will go on to win the the Royal Rumble. Who, who knows? And, you know who? We'll see how it goes down. At the Royal Rumble matchup, there's only six matches on the card that I can predict here. Unless some magically appear on the kickoff show, and maybe during the Royal Rumble itself, I don't know. I can't make predictions for those. There's not even a kickoff show's matches that I can predict myself. So, we'll go on straight to the next matchup. And we're back! Ladies and gentlemen, and we are back for the next match, and it's two for the price of one here because the next matches were the Royal Rumble matches, so I might as well make predictions for both of them at the same time. And going from these are the competitors that are already in that Royal Rumble matches uh, that made entry, declared themselves in the entries of each Rumble. Starting from the left of the Women's Royal Rumble and going on to the right. In the Women's Royal Rumble so far, we have Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, Bailey, and Dana Brooke. In the Men's Royal Rumble matchup so far, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, Otis, Big E, Randy Orton, The Miz, Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Edge, Mustafa Ali. There are uh, others including Dolph Ziggler uh, and Jeff Hardy as well. Is in they uh, saw the whole lineup myself, but these are the the ones that you can see. 
And other, I do know a few others uh, from my top of my head, like I said, like, uh, I believe, like, Mr. Cesaro's in the Men's Royal Rumble as well. We know that he's in there. So, it's just, it's just, it's just I can't really pick from here, but if I could make my predictions, here we go. Uh, we're going to do this starting with the women's on the left. Then we'll start with the right. We'll also do predictions of who number one and two will be. However, I know for a fact, because of what happened, there was a match between Tamina and Natalia on backstage for some reason. And we also know who's going to be in number one and two. I didn't look at that. I'm, I don't know if anyone else paid attention to that, but I didn't watch it, so I don't know. So all I know about the, well, the women's Royal Rumble, when it comes to the number 30, it's either Natalia or Tamina. So that's all I can say about that. Number one, now I don't know who that or one and two. So here I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the predictions for the following: who number one and two are gonna be. And who number is going to be? Uh, who's going to be the surprises? And who the number thirty is going to be? Who the winner is going to? Who the winner is going to be? And who? And who I think is going to get the last man or the the last not the last man the not the Iron Man and Iron Woman of the each rumble, and of course the winners and the losers. So that is my predictions for the following. Starting with the women's. I, as I said, we only know that either Natalia or Tamina is going to be number 30 uh, because they had a matchup or, or, on backstage for some reason. I don't know why. They could have just left it as a surprise. That ruins the surprise factor of that. Going to one and number, two, no, no, number one and number two, I personally think that Alexa Bliss would make a perfect of number one or number two spot because I definitely think um, she could also be the Iron Woman of that matchup because they're in it. This would be a very weird scenario. Of, like she could turn into the evil uh, version of herself because she's been doing that, which is all making sense. As well, I can also go for Bianca Bel Bel Bianca Belair being in that Iron Woman. Uh, as for number two, I'd say possibly Bailey. So I would say the number one and two spot can either go for Bailey and Bianca or Alexa and Bailey or Alexa and Charlotte. Just those th those four right there could be. Uh, as for the number thirty, as I said three times now, Natalia or Tamina. As for the eventual winner, I I want I think. The eventual winner will be Bailey, but I want Nia Jax or Shayna Baszler to win. So that is my prediction for that Ro that Royal Rumble. Iron Woman, Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss. Number one and two to be either Bailey, Bianca, Alexa, or Charlotte. And um. Of course, number 30 is going to be Tamina or Natalia. We know that for sure. And the winners, I think, should either be... The winners should either be Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, or Bailey is who I think. Going over to the Men's Royal Rumble. As from, going from what I said in my entry, Royal Rumble, I, I thought them going into the actual stipulation. I think the Fiend's going to interfere of Randy Orton being number 30, he will, then someone will replace him and it will be CM Punk. That was my prediction there in my, that, and I'm sticking with that. As for number one and two, I, uh, again, the whole entry list is, is my um, predictions of, like I said, of AJ to be number one, Otis to make number two, but a real, more of a realistic, because that was my own version of it, more realistic, realistic, I'd say Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles to be number one and two. Number 30, as I said, I think should be Randy Orton. And the Iron Man should be Shinsuke Nakamura. I think he should come in early, around about number seven perhaps, and be the Iron Man of this Royal Rumble. Or maybe even Big E. Big E would be a great Iron Man. Dumb. 
Uh, obviously, the most of them eliminations in both of them, which again, uh, again, I think, I think it should be going to Bianca Belair in the women's, and for the men's, this one's a tough one. I think it should go to Bobby Lashley because he's a p good pick for this more humble matchup. Uh, there is a scenario with and, and, and that I it would be a really really strange scenario that I kind of don't but do wish to see happen it, because it's never been done before. It can happen in the women's one and it can happen in the men's one where 29 of the competitors have already been eliminated. Let's say it comes down to the top final two and I'll give you let's say for the women it comes down to Bianca Belair and Bailey at the final two and number 30's not come out yet and it's a and number th say number 30 is Mandy Rose someone that is very unlikely to win and Bianca and Bailey eliminated each other the time of the 10 seconds comes up gets down to zero the music hits for for Mandy Rose she's like well no one else is to come out the referees get in there and say, well, you've won, congratulations. That would be a very unique way to do it. The same thing for the Men's Royal Rumble, perhaps it can go down. Now this, this could be the heelish way to do it. That wasn't me. Uh, this could be the heelish way to do it. And the way, and I'll get to the, to the, the Universal Championship matchup in just a second. But the, let's say for my purpose of the Royal Rumble here that uh, Roman Reigns somehow loses to Kevin Owens and Kevin Owens becomes Universal Champion. And he wants to fake a rematch because it was shenanigans that went down for that last man standing matchup. And he may be battered, he may be bruised, but he comes out at number 30 and, and the two people in the ring are Jimmy and Jey Uso. They're fighting each other. Uh, at first, Roman with music hits, and he's like, he gets in the ring, he looks at Jimmy, he looks at Jay, and he says, just walk out, just get out. Jimmy refuses because he's a baby face, and because he refuses, Jay eliminates him. Then he says, okay. El Chico, Jay, I want to win. I want to win this. But Jay says, okay. He goes over the top rope. He says, okay, good luck at WrestleMania. As long as you promise me, because yeah, he's promised him that they'll get a chance to face him at WrestleMania, regardless. Or in a, a title match down the line after WrestleMania. So he goes to shake his hand like this. Pulls him over the top rope. Jey Uso wins the matchup. That's who I want to see win. Jey Uso. I know it's a long time to get there, but I think it will. I really. But I think it's a very, very. It's a long shot. And I'll get to another scenario in a minute. When it comes to a proper man winning, I think it'll be Daniel Bryan. I want. Jey Uso and I, to win like that in a babyface fashion where he tricks his Roman but I think it could be Daniel Bryan however there's one more scenario that I'm gonna come over Alexa Bliss is the Iron Woman in the women's Royal Rumble matchup gets down to the final four uh, let's say the final four is um, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair and Alexa Bliss N Shayna eliminates Nia Nia gets eliminated because she's uh, well, sorry, Shayna gets eliminated because she's arguing with Dana. She pulls her over on the top rope because Alexa Bliss eliminates her by herself. It's now down to Alexa and Charlotte. Lights go off, come back on. The Alexa's all smiley, facey. Or, you know, uh, she goes to eliminate Charlotte, and Charlotte wins again, lol, perhaps, or maybe it's Nia Jax's time to win the Rumble. Nia Jax eliminates everyone, including Alexa Bliss last. 
she the lights go out she turns comes back on and she's like happy as the evil one smirking because she's got a second chance let's say Rand Yorton does make it when they don't pull off the surprise of CM Punk he is number 30 he is a little different one Edge is in the ring Daniel Bryan is in the ring perhaps even Shinsuke and uh, AJ Styles they he Randy Orton gets on number 30 eliminates everyone the last person he eliminates is Edge well not no I'm sorry number 29 I'm sorry number 29 is Randy Orton where out comes number 30 he's a wannabe person let's just say for example number 30 can be uh, Chad Gable. I, 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 I'm just putting for, poor old Chad for my purpose of this this story. He comes out. He's all happy that he's managed to get number thirty. But then, uh, you know, like of Bliss attacks Chad Gable. No thing against him. He's just out. He gets Red Yon's eliminated everyone. He's in the Red Yon's in the middle of the ring. He's like, okay. Are you taking the place? Cause it's, I'm gonna just get you rid of you. She's skipping along in her pink and her thing. She gets in the ring. The lights go off. She turns into the evil version. Randy Orton goes to hit the RKO. He she pushes him to, uh, over the top rope. She wins the men's Royal Rumble. First of all, like maybe the fifth woman to, to enter the men's Royal Rumble. Nia, uh, Nia Jax has done it. Karma has done it, China has done it, Beth Phoenix has done it, so she would be the fourth woman to enter a men's Royal Rumble, but she'll be the first to win a men's Royal Rumble. Lights come, the lights go off, pop back up, and there's the fiend standing behind her, just happy that the Alexa Bliss has won the men's Royal Rumble. And that is how it matters on my predictions for these Royal Rumble matches. I'm gonna go now to the next matchup. And well, and speaking of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler and of course Oscar and Charlotte. F f well, let me just say this. Why the hell is uh, Oscar get the night off? Why did she not get a chance to face? Why did she not get a challenger for the title? Is so everybody scared of Asuka? Is there nobody ready for Asuka? I don't get that. She hasn't like done anything from the build up of the Royal Rumble. This should have been a, a Raw Women's Championship opportunity. She would have been playing double duty, but so is freaking Charlotte Knight, Jackson, Shayna Baszler. How can she only she doesn't get any matches? Anyway, I, I digress. Uh, this is for the, of course, the Women's Tag Team Championships, the rematch, for whatever re reason, even though we, uh, probably last year, just early on the last year, we said that there was not going to be no more rematch clauses, and that's gone out the window. I couldn't be asked to pay attention to this match if I wanted to, but if I had to make a prediction, it would be that I think it will be Asuka and Charlotte Flair because they already beat Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler before. Having, the, having some shenanigans between Shayna and Nia Jax, friction building, but not so much because the Women's Royal Rumble would probably be up next. Um, because, or maybe if this does happen after the Rumble with Shayna and Nia eliminate each other or one of them eliminates the one of another then of course because of that reason they're gonna lose so I think and I want Charlotte Flair and Oscar to win this matchup not much to go on here there hasn't been that much build up to it because if anything it should realistically be Charlotte Flair taking on Lacey Evans in a singles competition here which is not going to make any sense all that's going to happen with that rivalry is that Lacey Evans and Charlotte Flair will be uh, going at each other's fronts in the Women's Royal Rumble match that's it so because there's no build up to it this one's pretty easy 
I think. And the next match, I'm gonna try and go through it as quickly as this match is gonna happen. So basically, there's one thing I just don't want to see happen, and probably nobody wants to see. Uh, hopefully that Brock Lesnar does not return in the men's Royal Rumble matchup and win the whole thing. Nobody wants to see that. And I don't want, nobody wants to see Goldberg win this matchup from the WWE Championship. And nobody wants to see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And for that reason and that reason only, I think and I want Drew McIntyre to win this matchup. As soon as the bell rings it should be a Goldberg match. Where maybe Goldberg hits a spear, but after one, Drew McIntyre kicks out. Then Goldberg hits a jackhammer and kicks out at one. Drew McIntyre kicks out at one. Then again, oh, so frustrated. He waits for him to get back up for a second spear, but gets claymored. One, two, three. The match is over. We can move on to the, main, the men's Royal Rumble matchup. That's going to happen later on the matchup. And if we throw in Goldberg in that matchup for a laugh, God help us all. Then. Uh, that is my predictions for this matchup as quick as the, and I tried to make it as quick as possible because it's a Goldberg match. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Next matchup. And we're back from the next matchup with the main event of, well, not as a, I don't think it's going to be the main event, but it's going to be one of the main events in this Royal Rumble pay per view. The last of the six matches that were on the WWE.com for me to make a prediction for. And of course, it is Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, with his um, what, Superman Punch, what I like to call the Chieftain Punch, and the Spear, will be taking on Kevin Owens, who has uh, like I don't know, I think Roman Reigns has forgotten that uh, Kevin Owens was a former you know, Universal Champion because he got held like, given that Universal Championship. Because Triple H backstabbed Steph Rollins at one point. But, you know, we forget about that now that Kevin Owens is a baby thing. So, how this all came about? Well, we had Roman Reigns defended his Universal Championship against Kevin Owens in all out of match. Roman Reigns held his family and he cheated his way to get that match by low blowing Kevin Owens and grabbing the title because of that. They then had a, I think, a still cage match on SmackDown, and of course, Jey Uso got involved again in that match, handcuffing him to that, so he couldn't escape. He called him a cunt when he called him a bitch. That still didn't ruffle Roman Reigns' feathers, and so he lost that match. And we also, I, we had some several matches where Kevin Owens took on. Jey Uso and beat the shit out of him and of course Adam Pearce decides to make a gauntlet match to see who faces Roman Reigns at Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns being the chief, the head of the table, says ah ah, I make the rules around here, not you, I decide who's worthy of a championship matchup, not you. And because of all that, he with Paul Heyman by his side, Paul Heyman being a higher officer of the law when it comes to WWE. Uh, then Adam Pearce, which is making no sense to me. He and I know Adam Pearce used to wrestle back in the day in the indie circuit six years ago. Uh, apparently it was his last match. I don't know. I don't I don't know nothing about Adam Pearce. And because of that reason he got put in a match. And I got that very same gauntlet match. He won that match because Roman Reigns beat up Shinsuke Nakamura, which I believe is probably might end up biting him in the backside when it comes to the Royal Rumble if Shinsuke Nakamura Nakamura wins his second Royal Rumble. Um You know, shit that went down. You know, he won that match then that means because they, they even beat up uh Adam Pearce so that he'd get the win in that scenario. But then they had the contract signing and said, you know, oh man, my leg's killing me. You know, you know what, as we always have this one thing in our, each of the contracts and it says we might have fi find a replay the card, may that change 
due to injury or something like that. I forget exactly what he said. But because of that reason, he then replaced himself with Kevin Owens. Which meant it's now Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns, last man standing matchup at Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns got pissed and had Paul Heyman stand up for himself and said, hey, you can't do that. Let's have a ma we're going to have a match on SmackDown, me and you, Paul Heyman versus P Adam Pearce. There was no way that was going to happen. He pulled the same trick on Adam Pearce and it was going to end up being Adam Pearce versus Roman Reigns. But thankfully, uh, Kevin Owens came to the save Put, gave a stunner to, gave two stunners to uh, Roman Reigns and put Roman Reigns through the table and he said to Paul Heyman, you watching? You watching? Had a big scruffy, strange, scruffy I would say, had a strange interview this past week on Smackdown and you know with Kevin Owens flubbing his lines at the end with a very good tenseless promo by saying Oh, I'm not going to be the last, I mean, I want to, ah! and just got pissed and went off because he was so mad at Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns made him, made him love his lines a little bit. Well, I say lines, but his emotions got to her the best of him. And now we're here at the Royal Rumble. What's going to happen Sunday? I think it will be Roman Reigns, but I want Kevin Owens because I think Kevin Owens is going to take something out of John Cena's playbook somehow some way because John Cena has done some crafty things when it comes to last man standing matches for example there was this one time he faced Batista and he took Batista's uh, feet to the the mat and he couldn't get up somehow you know but hey any means necessary to have your opponent laid out cold for the 10 count and if you're the last man standing you're the winner and that is my predictions for the Royal Rumble 2021 the, the women's Royal Rumble match could have a few surprises you know the men's Royal Rumble match up might have a few surprises uh, you know it's, it's gonna be good it's gonna be great they pulled off some really good story lines as all well the when it comes to pay-per-view they always pull it off even if it's just the six matches Without no kickoff show matches, I'm still good with that. I'm down over the treat 2000, also no statue times 15 on Xbox Live, and until next time, and then, well, and the Royal Rumble reaction and review itself, and the Royal Rumble reaction itself, bye bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.